So my name is Hillary. Um, I just want to talk about my experience here in Miami. I am a round two patient I like to call. This is my second surgery I've had done. Um, so I had recently had a tummy tuck and I went to a facility out here in Miami and I had paid for a whole package including a recovery house and I was under the impression that everything was going to be taken care of, that I wouldn't have to do much after surgery. And that was not the case. Unfortunately, I ended up having to switch recovery houses at the last minute and was left lost, left scared, left not really knowing where I was going to go from there. And fortunately for me, I am a people person, so I reached out to a girl who I had saw the day before, who was also in um, surgery with me at the same facility. And she was there at the post-op appointment that I was at. And she told me about the recovery house she was at and explained to me how I would have to go through those situations that I went through and I didn't have to feel left lost and scared. And well, let me just say this, it definitely changed my whole experience. It's sad when the best part of your the best part of your whole trip is the recovery house and not mm -hmm. the actual like situation that you come out here for. You know, I mean, don't get me wrong. I feel like the surgeon is a big part of it, but so is the recovery house. And I don't know what I would have done if I wouldn't have met Body Vice. They have literally made me feel at home. They made me feel like I was one of them. They made me feel like I was family. I mean, this place was clean. They were friendly. They were down to earth and they were very welcoming. And they also had been through surgery themselves. So they knew exactly how to care and how to approach these women and did not judge or um, make them feel like they were any less than they were. And I'm very thankful for it. Today's my last day here. I'm sad because, you know, I would also love to stay another day. But at the same time, I don't know what I would have done if I didn't stay here those days. Like, they literally helped me through the times that I was crying to the times where I felt like I'm at my best. And I just want to say thank you, Body Vice. And I hope that they will be able to expand. I hope that they'll be able to get more people to come here, more workers. and. They'll be able to blast them from here because we need more people like them and we need more recovery houses to also work with the facilities because not only is it important to have a good surgeon, but it's important to have aftercare as well because they go hand in hand. So what what advice would you give someone that's maybe um, looking to book a recovery or aftercare advice? Like Because I think we all focus on the surgeon aspect and then we forget yeah, about the so whole recovery I aspect. Think, I think that there should definitely be um, a place where we can review recovery homes. We could review the workers. Like I think one of the main things is there's people who get into these recovery houses for the money. And then there's people who actually get into it because they actually care. I mean, you know, don't get me wrong. All of this, of course, is very profitable. But if you're not doing it for the right reasons, then you could be really messed up like how I was left lost and and having to scramble and figure out where am I going to go next and you know I'm a patient that's not from Miami I'm from thousands of miles away from another state so when we come out here keep the silence on the side sorry um but I think that one of the main key important things is you need to find somewhere where they're going to meet criteria as far as like, are they going to accommodate special needs that you may have? Are they going to have enough space for you? Are they going to have caring, loving, compassionate people that are working there for you? Are they going to have people that are actually educated on surgeries and educated on like the mm -hmm. actual proper care that you need? And are you going to have people that um, are always on the go? I mean. There's people that, you know, get into these jobs and I feel like they just do it just because. And then there's people that do it and they actually have compassion towards it. Like, I've literally 
felt both sides Mm -hmm. I felt the sides where they're just like doing what they think they know and then there's people that are doing it from experience and also you want to pick a place that is going to accommodate your needs as far as going to the store for you dropping you off picking up from the airport being a good commute as far as to and from post-op appointments and so forth and also a place that has good food, a place that has a different change of diet and a place that meets your changes of diet and your pickiness or whatever may help you follow through on your recovery. Cool. Yeah. So I know your your journey started off rough. Um, and you do love your surgeon because I know you do. Your I surgeon do. is the best. I have nothing bad to say about him um, whatsoever. I'm just waiting for my results. Yes, no. I know you're excited about that. Yes. So um as to when it comes to like um picking like you know paying for aftercare and picking recovery homes and all of that stuff um you already gave your advice on that in your in your aspect on it but do you think that maybe you know what would you say how do i put this um trying to put like the right words um (laughs) How do I say this? I don't want to get some water. Yeah. Um, mm. eh. I'm trying to feel what you're trying to like say or something like that. Yeah. Because I want you to, like, to, so people out there can understand how, like, I like how you mentioned the whole compassion. Because it's true, if you don't have compassion. I mean, honestly, something... there should be, there should definitely, I think that these facilities that, okay, so... When I originally went to the first recovery house that I was set to out here, that was through the facility, whether they want to say it or not. They chose to say that they have nothing to do with it, but yet they give us a list of nine facilities that they chose specifically that we can only go to, but yet they have no no knowledge of these people apparently because they'll just send you to whatever. I mean, you should literally have places where they are certified, they have background checks, and they should have interviews themselves on why are you doing this for these women? Right. What makes you good to care for these women after? Why should they pick you? Right. And they should have a whole section on their website or wherever they're advertising and let these women choose if these are the right people for them. Right. And Which is a good idea. Yeah, Which and I think idea. that they should also have a place where, you know, we can review them as well and, like, put things in where we think they should, like, be better at or, you know, whatever the case may be. Right. And the fact that these facilities, like, they give you an option, per se, of where they think a good recovery home should be is clearly not always the best option because they don't have any knowledge towards it and some places they just do your surgery and they send you off and it's left up to you to decide so would you say you want people to kind of really invest in their aftercare oh yeah like i said surgery is only half of it the aftercare is the other Mm -hmm. half like if you don't have a good aftercare you don't have good surgery right anybody can get good surgery done but if you don't have the right people looking after you then it's like you did it for nothing like literally you did it for nothing i mean it's all about your experience coming out here and if you feel a good experience from your surgery and then you leave from there and you have to go back into this like awkward space and you already don't know these people and you already don't know the area and you already are in so much pain and you're helpless you want to know that are these people going to really care for me are these people going to care about my feelings are these people going to really you know accommodate my needs that's what now you you took that that's what i was trying to say yeah would you say that it's important for girls to get ready emotionally for this journey because i of course of course because i I think a lot of them get ready financially yeah people get ready financially but the emotional impact i mean i cried for like three days you guys and and I think it's whether good or bad. I think it's still an emotional yeah, journey. It's a very emotional journey, but to have somebody that's there to comfort you while you're crying and you feel like they're not, they're like they're not like caring about you, is like the worst feeling ever. And I did not feel that here. I felt like when I cried, I was felt. I felt like my pain was transferred into their pain. Like I felt like 
they took my were understood. I was understood and I felt like they didn't want me to be upset. They didn't want me to be hurt. They wanted to comfort me and they wanted to make sure that whatever I needed they could do because they just wanted to know as long as you're okay, I'm okay. What can I do to help you? And those are the kind of attitudes that recovery homes need to have. They right, because it doesn't have to only be here. There's way, there's plenty of good recoveries. I hope of course, there. of course um, there is. I just, I think we just have to kind of let people know, like, really do your homework. Really do your homework. Really do your research. Really search reviews. And really understand that don't just pick something because you think it's cheap. Don't just pick something because you think it's expensive. I mean... Price means nothing. It means nothing at all. It's all based on the people who are behind it. It's all based on the people who are backing it up. I mean, you could go to a really expensive place and they can treat you like shit. Or you can go to a really crappy place and they'll treat you like everything. I mean, well, I wouldn't say crappy place, but I, will. I just want you ladies to know that don't put a price tag on your recovery. Do your research, do your homework, and find people that are compassionate. Find people that are in your best interest because that's what it's all about. Recovering is one of the main big purposes. I mean, you can't even fly home until you're fully feeling at your best. I wouldn't say fully feeling at your best, but enough to get back on that plane mentally and physically. And like I said, if you are gonna come out here to Miami or go to any other place that's away from home, make sure that you invest in your aftercare as much as you invest in your surgeon. Thank you.